So it sounds like you guys are very active with just the honey, the goats, the pasture school, all the stuff affiliated with that. But there's uh, other new activities that are going on. Um, going on now, you're starting on and, and for future endeavors. Which yeah. tell us about those, you, you those are we, exciting. You think we were bored from yeah. start, starting all these new things, but we're not. Um, but these are opportunities that are just coming our way and that we just can't turn a blind eye to. And one of those is, is the clinic, which actually John tried to get started seven or eight years ago, bought a little plot, built a building, handed that over to the government to, to staff. Unfortunately, here we are eight years later and it's still not staffed. So we've just realized we're going to go another direction. We're going to try to do kind of a private clinic um, that will be able to raise some money from those who can afford to pay and cover the costs of those who can't. You know, one, one little story from my daughter's experience that kind of or shows the uh, necessity of having some, something nearby. She was driving along the road one day, picked up a lady who was carrying her baby and she realized when she picked her up and was going to just drop her at the roadside that they were going to the clinic. Mm -hmm. And um, so she said, well, let me take you to the clinic. So she ran the, the child and, and grandmother to the clinic. And the clinic checked out the baby and said, this baby's too sick for us. You need to take it to the hospital, which was another 20 minutes away. And so my daughter ran them to the hospital. And just as they were pulling up in the hospital parking lot, the baby breathed, breathed its last. And so... You know, if we had something that was closer to Baluba, which was where this lady yes. was from, you know, something that provided good health care, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure we can save a lot more lives yeah. than, than we currently are. Yeah, probably not from twofold. One, just something that's close to proximity so you right. don't have that time delay. Right. And then two, just having that there where people will learn how to probably take better care of themselves will help mitigate some of that from happening to begin with. Sure. I mean, an aspect of every clinic these days in third world countries is preventive yeah. um, and community health kind of aspects, you know, washing hands, clean water, pro, uh, safety around fires, those kind of things. And so that would definitely be a part of the, the ministry.